Hello and welcome. I'm your host Zulf and today I'm going to speak to you about OBS. What is OBS used for and why do you need it? Well, you've noticed I've done a lot of live streaming videos and I'm going to show you an example of my screen setup here so you can see why I use OBS and then a secondary split screen for instructions. This is going to help you because you know what? It makes it easier, it makes your life easier. It looks a bit different because you can see my camera now. That's my camcorder that I use as a secondary view. So I'm going to share my workflow with you. So stay tuned and you're going to see some benefits of OBS and why it can help you, not only with live streaming, but you know what, with recording as well. Because right now I'm recording this video into OBS. I'm not live streaming it. I'm recording it as one take. So that makes it less intensive for editing. You can see I'm flipping between screens. In the bottom corner here, you can see a little red button because I'm recording my screen on OBS because that makes a file ready to upload to YouTube. So and without any more hesitation, what is OBS used for? You know what, let me, can I share my screen with you? Okay, let me give you that. Let me bring up here and let's see what OBS actually is. Oh, let's go to their website. How did they? Okay, open broadcast software not studio, I kept calling it studio. Okay, so it's a free and open source software for video recording and live streaming. So you'll notice there is video recording and live streaming. So think of it like not an editing program, but a one take recording software. So you know, you record on your mobile phone and that's it, you don't want to edit it, but you only got the one angle. Whereas here you can actually put overlays, you can have things like little pop-ups you can have a little subscribe button like that so it gives you additional options you can even switch cameras and switch displays and have it's like basically editless so everything i'm doing is live and once i've recorded it however long this video takes me to record is how long it takes for the video to record some people record a video and then spend three to four hours editing all the multiple angles and all the different things together to make it better that's a great way to go down it, uh, the route, but depending on what you're doing, like for example, I'm doing talking tutorial type stuff so mainly I've been doing recently to help you because I've noticed a lot of people want help with live streaming at the current situation. So that's why I've, I've had this set up for about two years now since I've been doing more regular videos and open broadcast studio, I keep calling it studio, open broadcast software has helped me a lot. So let me go straight into number one why do you want to use it why should you download it there's two versions obs light i'll call it just as a, it's just obs and then there's stream labs obs so if i go to here and show you what i mean so now well, can i show you this yes i can so if i do wide i click the button but i also have an f key set up so if i press f1 it goes to that screen now i've come to this screen down this side here Let me. There you go. That's a nice view of it. So here, P live show, photography live show. Each of these sections in here is one, two. Can you see my mouse? Oh yeah. Uh, okay. So one section, two section. Let me put my camera on. So now see that I kicked that button and a little camera came on in the corner. That I lets you put individual cameras on and off so now that camera is on and um, i can notice here that my volume is slightly loud but that's okay let me zoom out a bit so you can see it all okay there so now this is a, a view of my display just to show you it live as it were like how i'm doing it so in this scenario i have one webcam canon webcam which is that front webcam i have a sony camera what happens if i turn the sony camera on that turns on my camera here turn it back off it's gone hdmi is this camera here if i turn that off it turns it off and on because it's in the background you can't see it i've got some logos if i turn the logos on nothing happens because the logos are behind so if i bring the logos in top and now do it you can see that's my live stream uh, logo setup so if i click of a button i could go live and then turn my live logos on if i don't want to go live i turn them off so that's why and even the chat window here so if i show you a chat window if i bring that to the top and do chat that would be where chat populates 
click the eye and I'm gone. So I've got a hold screen, which is my normally my background screen. I've got a one, a two, a three, and a four, and then a news and a Skype screen. Skype is where I do calls with the, like if I'm doing like a interview type scenario. So all of that's just being recorded as it is. All right, let me go back here, go back out a bit, and you can see. It's a bit of a, sorry. Oops, come on, there. Okay, so in the bottom corner, there's two buttons, go live or record. If you record, you're recording the file on your hard drive. So this video currently is five minutes and 42 seconds. Once it's done, it'll be an MP4 file that I can upload to YouTube. That's my job done. It took me five minutes and I've been able to share something with you a lot quicker than I would have normally done. Because that five minute video, if I edited it with all these angles and information, I would have easily spent an hour and a half, two hours on it. So right now it reduces the amount of time you spend. It also makes your live stream a lot more fancy. So if I go back to your nicer screen. And that's what OBS is. It's a piece of software that lets you record what you're doing live. The main issue you're going to have, not issue, but the main challenge you're going to have is setting everything up. That's the main bit. I've got multiple videos on my channel explaining how to set up a HDMI capture card. And my main route is getting you to record everything directly into OBS. So it cuts down on your editing time and you can just do a recording session and share what you have to share. Because a lot of people have some great ideas that they don't share because it's too like scary or there's too much things involved but the idea is if i can help you get to where you want to be then we can all benefit because you'll share something that you wouldn't have otherwise shared so i'm hoping you find this useful i'll link you to a number of videos about obs and the software that i use but this is like an overview of the software i might do a detailed guide if you want to use it or if you're interested in it and i might do alternatives this is not the only software you can use i just used it and i find it easy thank you and i'll see you on my next video and how i end it let me just show you that actually so just here, it's a seven minute, click on that and now it'll stop.